I'm looking at the old Makoro chart that we did in 2021. Um, I haven't looked at it in a while. Um, a customer asked for it and he said, please won't you send me one of your videos? And I looked, there's no video. I don't know why I didn't do a video of it, unless I just can't find it, strangely enough. But anyway, um, this will be the official video then, if I can't find the other one. Um, guys, let's have a look. Where is Makoro? Makoro is up here. Remember, always use your Navionics chart to find your location first. Put your orientation to north up, turn your look ahead off, you know, when you're sitting at home planning. And then when you get on the water, you obviously, if you've got a point one, you change it to heading up. If you don't have a point one, get one. Um, and then you'll put it on course up and turn your look ahead on. That's under your chart options. But anyway, we're up here, <coughs> the sort of uh, Tabo Zimbi, just north of Tabo Zimbi up here. I was nearby the other day doing some mapping on Makolo and then at this point here you can go to your more options and change that to I suggest Makolo. We'll look at the other ones a little bit later. Okay, where is this? There it is. Okay, um, off the bat um, I've obviously got a photo overlay onto land only. Uh, to get started here, <clears throat> ah, just from familiarizing myself with uh, with what it looks like here. Let me just look at one of these photographs just so I can get a... I, I want to get an idea of how uh, low or full the, the dam was. Okay, it was quite full. It looks like it was very full. Um, I wonder if we can get one closer to the launch site. Because that normally tells us a lot. Oh yeah, okay. So this is a good one. This um, this one is quite full, so I'm not too sure. I haven't checked what the dam level is at the moment, but uh, obviously you're gonna take this as uh, pretty much full, I would say. Uh, remember, we've got a lot of photographs around the dam, guys. Um, please, you must have a look at this. Um, especially the guys that are targeting the shallows. Um, I say, I don't need the charts on just targeting the shallows. You know what? Just go through the photographs. Just go through the whole shoreline and prepare yourself. And if you see something interesting, go, oh, hang on, I'd like to fish that. And then what do you do? You, you go to your, your, your uh, photograph, you put the cursor on it, and then you double tap your little flag, which is your waypoint button. You'll just double tap that. You'll say, okay, that is uh, some rocks there. So we're gonna highlight some rocks. And then we're gonna say, um, just leave it as a number or make a note. Or in this case here, we're just looking at the McCulloch chart uh, where the photographs are. So we would always start with a M. Start with an M and call it M1. That means you must go to your McCulloch chart. If you're in the Ultra HF, you'll start off with U and then the number. If you're on sediment, you're gonna choose S and mark it S, one, two, three, four, etc. etc. Anyway. You guys get the idea. Okay, so we've got a little waypoint there. Um, what are we looking at here? Um, we are looking at a bottom hardness. Okay, your blues and your uh, whites is the very hard. Um, as it goes into your greens and your yellows and your reds, it starts getting softer. Now remember, everything is always relative. Obviously, something like that is a great indication of a very deep area. Uh, sure, this dam does get very deep, okay, and that would naturally be a very sedimented area, very mushy, soft, so that's something that you really don't want to target, but I don't think there's many of you that will be fiddling out there in 130 feet of water anyway, so um, by the looks of things, from what I can see, it's got a lot of, okay, that even that, this must be quite a rocky area, you know, over 100 feet, um, sure, okay. Um, you see what's peeping out behind here? These reds and you see, you see the reds and the oranges and that? That is your uh, uh, contour depth data uh, isobaths. So let's turn off bottom hardness. We've got our chart options, your categories. There it is. And we're just going to turn that off. 
Now you've got just the contours. Guys, while I'm on this quickly, um, some guys have said, oh, we, we really like that um, faded in type of shading. It really looks pretty. And guys, I, I agree with you 100%. It, it does look, look pretty. But um, uh, those of you who know uh, my, my, my old fishing style, I loved strolling, uh, 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 pulling uh, crankbaits at high speed through offshore structure. And let me tell you, this definition that you get here, like for instance there, I don't want to be confused by a gradient full, you know, bet between them. I want to know a specific line so that I know it's easier for me on the water to stay exactly on that line. I don't have to keep watching the numbers. I just have to note the colors. So um, uh, if, if that's something that you really want and you really fancy, we can obviously do that for you as a custom chart. You can just get hold of Colleen and tell her exactly what all your customizations are. She'll send you a quote for those customizations. You'll send your original chart back. We'll rebuild it with those customizations. It could take up to a month. To get back to you so please allow a little bit of time um, to get that back to you um, if, if there's a tournament coming up or something along those those lines anyway let's have a look what else is on on here let's stay on um, uh, just contour with the satellite in the back it's obviously gee this stamp has got some beautiful swings on it nice big deep section there next to those cliffs that's really awesome very very interesting stuff I just want to see what that bank looks like there where it's so so steep. Oh yeah, we can see that. Yo, very, very steep. A lot of rock. It's going to be one of those situations where if someone says, yeah, target the rocks, you're in trouble because there's rocks everywhere. Here's some nice little flats going out here. Um, oh yeah, I've heard some horror stories about this, this spot here. But before I carry on, I want to have a look. What is this? I'm sure we have a shaded relief for this I seem to recall a shaded relief um, oh yeah guys remember if you want the shaded relief and you've turned it on as you've seen in the bottom right hand side of the corner there you need to go to your categories and turn your depth area off and there's your shaded relief um, Especially when using shaded relief, I suggest using chart detail low. Make sure you're not on full. It just gets too busy with all the all the contours. It really gets busy. Um, if we go a little bit closer in, okay, it's not not too bad. No, it's fine. Some of the charts get really really busy, and then that makes life very very difficult. So so yeah, there's your shaded relief. Um, it would be nice if I put a satellite behind the shaded leaf. I've started doing that now with the newer charts. Again, guys, if you guys want that as a customization, we can do that for you. Uh, look, look out for these little channels like this. This is really awesome. That you know, channel from the deep water all the way into the shallows there. Man, I'd love to see what that looks like on an Ultra HF. Let's have a look. This will be east. So let's have a look at the east. What have we got there? Oh, yeah. This is a nice Ultra HF. It's nicely done. Um, as you can see, this is pre Shadow Max days. Shadow Max is a relatively new feature that we've added on our charts now. It's a, it's a new type of a manipulation of the data to, to give you the, the, the maximum shadows, but not going dark in the deep. It's easy like this to make the deep dark, um, but then you miss stuff. Then the dam drops, drops a hell of a lot, and then the guys say, I'm at 40 feet, the dam's down by 40 feet, and it's just too dark, we can't see what is down there. And that's a thing that we now use called Shadow Max. Um, but for us to do that, we'd have to go back and redo the whole thing again. Uh, so that's a bit of a snake, but oh, look at this, look at this, yeah. There's your channel running through there. Here's, here's another example of something new that, that we have now. Can you see this like fuzzy section here? That is known as your nadir region. It's the region directly beneath the boat where the side scan can't actually create um, shadows, which essentially renders it useless. Um, this is pre-zero nadir uh, days. 
um, all our new charts now, the way that we do it, uh, we've got technology which we now call Zero Nader, and you will only find that on a fish tech chart, uh, as well as the Shadow Max. Shadow Max and Zero Nader is unique to fish tech. And I'm not saying in Benoni or Brockburn or uh, Westville or wherever, I'm saying in the world, in the world. Um, guys, you guys that use uh, fish tech charts here in South Africa, I can't tell you how many conversations I have in a week from people around the world saying, when are you coming? When are you coming? When are you coming? We need your charts. So, um, you know, it, 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 it's like um, really good charts is sometimes like a very good wife. Does all the hard work for you, but it's quite easy to see something new and shiny come past and go, ooh, hello, what's that over there? Don't forget what, what a wonderful thing these charts are, and they really can make a difference to, to your fishing big time. Let's want to have a look at what the shoreline looks like here. Yeah, guys, that's a lot of rock eh? everywhere. There's just rocks everywhere. This is a good chart. This is nicely done. Oh, there's some nice big flats. Now look what that looks like on the. <clears throat> you see that? Wow, nice big flats there. Big hump going out there. What does the shoreline look like here? This must be very. Yo, oh, that's deceiving. If I looked at that shoreline from that photograph, I would never know that it's a big flat. I would have immediately thought, mm -mm, this is deep water. I suppose the tree is a bit of a giveaway. Nice. Um, you know what? I'm sure we had a, a sediment. Yes, we do. Ha <laughs> ha. But what's going on now? Okay. Full. Oh, brilliant. And I've done some light shading on it. Oh, this is a beautiful sediment. I see it's got contours on it. Uh, that can get a little bit busy. So what I suggest you guys do is go to your categories, uh, categories and turn your lines off. Well, and lines. That's better. You can turn the lines on if you want to compare, like how does the sediment, uh, how accurate is the sediment compared to the actual um, uh, survey done with sonar, the way we actually do it. So you can always look at that as a comparison. But to me, that, that, that just gets busy. So we're going to turn that, uh, turn that off. And we'll look at it like that. that that's how I would look at, at the sediment. And remember, if you guys identify something like that little point over there, which we saw earlier, you want to put a mark on it. Oh, there's some rocks next to the point. So put the cursor there. Um, hold your little flag, your waypoint button in. Um, sorry, I should have just tapped it. There we go. Again, we want rock. This will now be sediment. So we'll close that. Uh, we'll call that is uh, sediment one enter save it'll be your s1 let's have a look what that looks like on our ultra hf east yo mr sediment whoever did that that sediment survey i think he got lazy making those little rock um <laughs> icons because yo puppy there's a hell of a lot more rocks around there than what you showed <laughs> <laughs> on the sediment but anyway it must have been late afternoon or it was tea time um but yeah um guys i think that's and it goes a long way wow we this is right up the river yeah oh, this is old dylan that that did this let's have a look at the macaulay back Chart options, I'm going to turn the shaded leaf off. Jeez, our contours go all the way. Back categories, let's put that on. Sure, that's a long ways up. 
Right. Guys. And that is the Mokoro. This was the 2021. So it looked to me to be pretty much close to 100%. So if you go there and the dam has dropped slightly, go out to a nice flat area. Uh, don't don't just drive out off to, you know, into a deep, steep drop off. Here, you, you, you've actually got a beautiful situation. Because from the launch site, you've got a big flat, shallow flat that goes out. So it's quite easy to go out and see, okay, um, my chart tells me at this point, uh, they drive over that 21 there and say, right, my chart's telling me it's only 18 feet. Then you know you've got uh, three feet down and then you'll have to make that correction. You'll have to reduce, take off three from all these figures that you see here. I'm really hoping that um, uh, Lawrence does introduce that feature where we can do depth adjustment. It's a really cool feature, um, but I've got a sneaky suspicion it's a massive, massive task, especially this late in, in the game. But I do know that there's some new um, chart technology coming from Lawrence. They're using it in the um, uh, Simrad NSX units. Um, so maybe, let's see what goes on there. But uh, guys, thanks for watching the video, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.